guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is Saturday, July the 15th. Um, I am up and Adam. Dress for the day, about to head out. My name is Erica. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. So guys, today is a super exciting day for me because I'm actually headed out to a br uh, brunch to a, um, a Parisian type cafe because I'm going to be meeting um, a group of ladies there to discuss a, a trip to Paris. Um, the organizer, she has been to Paris uh, eight times. Uh, the trip is scheduled for uh, this year in December. And so when she goes back again, this will be her ninth time going. So she has my curiosity peaked. And so I just wanna go and understand what, um, what all this looks like, you know, the cost. Um, super excited. I mean, I think everybody has wanted to go to Paris at least one time in their life. And I am no exception, so I am excited to hear what she has to say and also to meet some of the other ladies. I think it's really important to surround yourself with like-minded people and um, and create experiences, right? So just super excited for what the day um, has in store for me. So I am right at time. It's, uh, I need to go ahead and head out uh, because the um, cafe is located in Legacy West which is in Plano and Legacy West is just a whole vibe in and of itself. I hadn't been over in that area in a while. So super excited that that's where we're having brunch at today. But of course, I'm going to take you guys along. So let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, ladies, I am actually walking out of the Toulouse and I just wanted to show you guys how super cute this restaurant is. Thank you. Uh-oh, oh, 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 let me get out of here, let me get out of here, let me get out of here, let me get out of here. You're welcome. And so this is the outside of Toulouse. Super, super cute. So I'm about to head back to, to my car. Oh, y'all, the experience was amazing, but I wanted to show you guys um, Legacy West, or at least some of it. So here are just some of the stores. Um, it's always busy, of course, on a Saturday. I think that's a given for sure. But I'm walking back to the um, garage. We had such a good, a good time, the food was amazing. Good conversation, good energy. Um, I'm definitely going on the trip. She's already sent out the, um, the link uh, for the website and everything. So definitely going to go, but yeah, you guys. So just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the space that we were in and I will talk to you guys uh, once I get home. So I decided to make a uh, pit stop and I am at Central Market. I'm still in Plano um, here in Central Market. It is similar to a Whole Foods, but better, like so much better. And when I worked in South Lake, I used to go to the Central Market all the time. They even have a cafe to where they serve food and all that stuff but I haven't been to one in a couple of years so I am excited to go in here and see what they have um, I wanted to come here and look at some of their salads because they have some like good salad kits and just check out a few other other things as well so that is what we're going to do let's see am I coming in on the wrong side I think I am let's go over here because I am gonna need, I am gonna need a buggy, so. Let's definitely do that. It's so humid out here today, y'all. It's not, it's not super hot, but it's real humid. So, oh, but it's the cutest store, cutest store ever. Where are those shopping carts? You know what? I didn't come to get a whole lot, so this little basket will do. Oh, 
this is perfect because this is what I mainly came for was the salads. So it dropped me off right in the area. But as you can see, like they have this whole deli, like it's just a whole vibe, but I don't want to get copyrighted. So um, I'm going to show you guys what I get. I'll do a haul once I get home. My trip to Central Market was a bust. They did not have the salad that I was looking for. They had like the regular salads in a tray, but they didn't have the ones in a bag that I was specifically looking for. So I didn't get anything. Runtz is in here with me if you hear all that grunting and snorting. But um, so just got home. I'm in my office, as you can see, and I'm about to fire up my laptop because um, Camera, she sent over the uh, the link for the itinerary and all of that. So I want to review all those things, see what it entails. But you guys, I'm so excited because I am definitely, definitely going on this trip. Um, and I'm going to still do a lot of research. She's actually going to have a Zoom meeting on Tuesday just to tell us how to go about, you know, booking the hotels, which hotel to get and just other tidbits on how to prepare for this trip to Paris. So right now what I'm going to do this evening is I'm going to look up how to apply for a global entry because I want to get that done. And I'm also uh, wanting to sign up for the um, American Airlines rewards uh, program and all of that stuff so I can start earning points, especially for these international trips. So that is what's on the agenda. Um, for the rest of this evening. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Looks like I need to charge up my laptop. So yeah, you guys, super excited. Um, the ladies were great. The food was amazing. Um, and it was just the cutest little restaurant, y'all. So I really enjoyed myself. So happy that I went. But that is what I'm going to focus on tonight. So just wanted to come on and give you guys, um, you know, some feedback on how things went and how I you know, felt about everything, but it's definitely a go on my end. So I will keep you guys posted and pretty much create like a Paris series, if you will, um, as I prepare for the trip. Of course, I'm going to take you guys with me when I go in December to do all of that. Um, I'll do a haul on whatever purchases I make while I'm there, but it's just going to be a whole vibe and I'm super excited for it. So let me go ahead and do my homework, if you will, and um, I'll check back in with you guys here in just a bit. Happy Saturday, friends. So it is Saturday, July the 22nd, and we are here at the uh, Cheesecake Factory. Y'all, I am starving. I had a light dinner uh, last night, me and my mom, and woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? Actually, we've been talking about coming to the Cheesecake Factory for a couple of weeks now. So uh, next weekend, we'll be out of town. So we was like, let's go. Let's go today. So we are here. Um, I haven't eaten at the Cheesecake Factory in like, ooh, maybe, yeah, like three, four years, maybe even five. So it's been a minute. But um, yep, just wanted to come. We are actually at the uh, Cheesecake Factory here in um, in Allen. So there you go, darling. And of course, you know we definitely got to get a slice of cheesecake to go. Thank you. Hi. Um, party of two. Yeah, see, they're really pushing it. I think they like literally just started it. So what you'll do is you'll be able to scan that. Yeah. It is the chicken Riesling. 
looks absolutely fabulous. So I made it back home. Um, Cheesecake Factory was delicious. The food was really good. I ended up getting a to-go box because I couldn't finish it all because we had the um, wheat bread there. I love their wheat bread. At first I thought it was rye, but the lady said it was wheat, so we'll go with wheat. Um, had that, and then we also had the, what is it called? I think the firecracker shrimp or bang bang shrimp. Um, I can't remember exactly the name of them, but you know, the fried shrimp with like the Hirachi spicy mayo dipping sauce. Um, we had that as an appetizer. So that was really good. And then of course you guys saw the main meal. So bought some of that home. So I'll have some leftovers there. And then to go, I ended up getting a slice of the Oreo cheesecake. I'll have that for later um, because all of the Queen's all the Queen's men, the new season dropped. So um, I'm about to watch that this evening. So super looking forward to that. And then I also need to catch up on Sisters. I think I'm either two or three episodes behind. So gonna watch that. So that's what I have planned for this evening. But first I wanted to come on here before I close out the vlog and show you guys some of the candles that I purchased for the Christmas in July. Um, special that Homeworks was having. Um, I purchased the Deck the Halls candle. So this is what it looks like, you guys. The It is a wraparound label and it's absolutely gorgeous. I think that is absolutely stunning. Um, I have this candle um, I've, I've already had this candle in my collection and this is the uh, candle from last year. This is what the packaging looked like. I like this one as well, but it's something about this packaging that just really gives me all of the Christmas vibes and just makes me want to curl up in front of the fireplace with a warm cup of hot cocoa. Um, of course, when it's time because it's super hot right now here in Texas. But yeah, I just thought that the packaging was very beautiful. And then the lid, it has an embossed um, little bow on top um, of this bronzy, goldish type of lid. And so the scent notes for this candle, it is blue spruce, frozen evergreen, glacial eucalyptus, and iced moss. And y'all, this candle is just, it is one of my top five favorite tree scents. I love tree scents. And what I find for me is that I'm gravitating towards tree scents a lot more than a gourmand type of scents uh, here lately. And so it has the dust cover here, but this particular candle has the red wax. So I think that this is going to be so beautiful once it is lit, especially as some of the wax, um, is burned through and then you can start seeing the illumination through the packaging. So I ended up getting uh, four, four of these candles in total. As you can see, I have the other one here behind me as well. So they come in a two pack and it was a, um, it was the Today Special Value on QVC and it was free shipping and you got two candles for $39.98 for the, um, uh, today's special value. So I ended up getting two sets, giving me a total of four candles. So just wanted to show you guys what I had gotten for Christmas in July. Um, but I'm looking forward to him releasing the rest of his fall candles. Um, just curious to see if he'll bring back some of my absolute favorites that I love. If so, I'll be picking some of those up. Um, if not, I'm not really interested in trying any new scents per se. So um, so yeah, just looking forward to see what he brings back as well as Bath and Body Works. They have released some body care that I am going to go and check out, not next weekend, but probably the following weekend. And then you guys know that I love their, um, their holiday hand soaps. So I'll probably end up making a pretty nice size purchase when I do go, but I just want to see what they have and what appeals to me and um, get some of those items. But 
I also wanted to let you guys know that I did go ahead and um, just to give y'all an update on where I am with the Paris trip, I went on ahead and reserved my hotel. I purchased my, um, my plane ticket and I feel like there's something else. Oh yeah, and I also um, locked in the excursions uh, package that the organizer has put in place for us. So super excited to have all of that stuff done. And um, yeah, you guys, like I said, the dates are from December the 8th through the 16th. So we will be in Paris for a total of seven days. Um, the organizer, this will be her nighttime going and she said she still has not seen everything. So seven days is not a long, long time, but it's long enough for your girl. I never want to go anywhere longer than seven days. Now, going back, sure, but I don't think that I would want to stay somewhere longer than seven days. I start missing my bed, I start missing my house, start missing my routine. But um, yeah, I'm so, so excited and feel so blessed to be able to um, go on this trip. So far, it is a total of um, six of us. She said that the number count, she doesn't want more than 20 people going. So we'll see what that looks like. But yeah, right now with six of us, she's actually having another Zoom call on Tuesday, which I'm going to attend because I just wanna make sure that I'm not missing anything, especially with this being my first European trip. Um, I wanna make sure that I am well-informed. And of course, I'm doing my own research um, on my own as well. But feeling super happy, super excited about that. Um, and then as I progress through the trip, and all of those plans, I will keep you guys posted um, with that. And yeah, just feeling really good. So I'm nice and full. I'm ready to get nice and comfortable on my sofa and relax with Runtz and my mom. Like I said, we're gonna sit down and watch us some TV this evening. So thank you so much for tuning in to this week's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.